in this video we're going to be talking about goals this is episode 13 it is my 365 day video podcast challenge so goals one of my goals before i started this whole podcast video podcast thing was to get better at video so i started this to do that goals let's talk about goals When you want to get good at something, you just got to do it, right? You got to do all the work in the middle that is going to lead you to your goal. So I remember multiple times in my life where I pretty much didn't have any goals. It was kind of weird. But I know for a fact that me, myself, personally, got into a couple of ruts in my life where I I just got comfortable and it was just something that I wasn't really interested in doing. I just kept waking up and doing my thing like Groundhog's Day, I guess. <laughs> and uh, you know, you just do the same thing over and over. But then eventually you get tired of it, or I did, and then you hmm, set a different goal, right? So goals are definitely cool if you want to take yourself farther in life, no doubt about that. Um, some of my goals right now obviously get better at video i would love to have a successful youtube channel i would love to have a successful business i would love to make a million dollars i'd love to make 10 grand a month to start with that's cool and i have tons of goals Uh, another thing that i'd like to do is me and my my oldest boy tucker we talk about all the time we talk we watch mud bogging videos on youtube and one of the things that i'd like to do is build a mud bog truck back whenever i was in high school on the weekends we would go and we would go to the woods and that's what we do we'd go mud bogging we would go mess around play in the mud it was a lot of fun and i think it would be really cool and a really cool learning experience for me to teach my boy tucker that And he's already really interested in it, so why not do it? And it makes a memorable memorable experience between me and him. So, goals. One of the things that I've done in the last two years while I've been studying how to, or ways to make money, is I learned that if you want to make money, you got to go where the money is, right? Same thing if you want to make more money, in my opinion, you got to follow people that are, I mean, unless you find a job that pays a lot, you got to basically follow people that are making the money that you want to make successful people, right? Because, because success leaves clues. So let's talk about the goals for a minute and what successful people do. One of the things that they talked about that I've learned from them is that obviously you want to have big goals but you got to have short-term goals long-term goals and you can't just go out and say i want to be a billionaire and that's my goal and then just have nothing in between because it's never going to happen for you you got to be realistic i mean yes i'd like to make a million dollars but at the same time i would like to make 10 grand a month which is a little bit less than a million dollars obviously and 10 grand a month leads to 100 grand and then obviously 100 times 10 that leads to a million right that's pretty much a million a month or a little less than a million a month to make a million if in a year so they say that it's easier to once you hit your first million it's easier to make more because the process of you getting there is this whole ordeal and then once you get there it's just like wow it's easy but what successful people do is they basically reverse engineer their goals. So let's talk about that for a minute. Let's just say I wanted to make $100,000 in the next 12 months, right? $100,000 divided by 12, that's basically, if we break it down, that's basically a little over nine grand a month, okay? And then that's 12 months, nine grand. So let's break that down. A month, let's just say for example's sake, 30 days in a month we break that down uh, divide nine grand by 30 days that's basically three hundred dollars a day so different ways that you could make three hundred dollars a day 
I know there's some jobs that pay that. That's not a big deal. But, I mean, you could sell, if you were selling stuff, right, or your service or products or whatever you're doing. I mean, I don't know what you're doing. But if you were, let's just say you were just selling stuff. If you sold one product 300 times, there's $300 a month. Well, what if you sold 30 products at $10 a month? I'm sorry. At 10, 30 products at $10, that is $300 a day. That's what we want, $300 a day. I know I said a month a minute ago. Sorry about that. Well, let's just say that you sold three products at $100 each. That's $300 a day, right? So there's multiple ways to do that. And when I'm talking about selling products, I mean, selling physical products really isn't, it's really hard to get that kind of, let's just say profit out of that, but selling information products could really be a high ticket thing here for you, right? Because if you created an information product, which I know multiple information products that sell anywhere from free all the way to 10, 30, 100, 1,000, 5,000, 10,000. I mean, if you had the right information product and you got it in front of the right people, there's no way that, I mean, $100,000 is easy. But reverse engineering that is the way to get to your goal. So it doesn't matter though. I'm talking about money now. Let's talk about physical, right? Because your physical being. Like for me, my goal was to get back into shape and to start eating better in the next 30 days. So what I did immediately, I learned about some stuff and I'm doing a whole challenge on that. Um, it's a 30 day challenge. I'm documenting everything that I'm doing right now. I'm on my third day and basically I just started with my first day and now I'm on my second day and I'm doing the same thing on the third day and I'm not going to let up until I hit 30 days. Working out is definitely something that I want to do more. I have worked out two days so far, but I want to work out more, but I'm really busy and I'm still working on getting that worked into my schedule. But so what? So I missed a day. Big deal. Today's a new day. Just line back up and get back in line with it and do the goal. So I don't really have, I didn't really have a goal as far as like how much weight that I wanted to lose, but I do have a goal to get back into, I mean, I got a couple goals when it comes to that. Number one, I want to be feel better so that I can play with my kids more and have more fun without just feeling like crap because I feel like sometimes I'm just don't feel like playing with them. But in the last two weeks, I'm definitely doing a lot more of that because I feel better about myself and I also feel better in general because of the energy and the stuff that I'm eating. The energy was a big deal. So I'm actually making it a point to play with them more and having so much fun and I'm enjoying it like crazy. One of the things that I was told by multiple people, you know, I have two small kids is that you definitely want to pay attention to these years because they are valuable, right? So goals though, I don't really, I weigh 238 pounds. I want to, you know, get back down to like between 200 and 210. I think that would be a cool weight. I'd like to definitely be fit. I definitely would like to be able to bend over and my belly got get in the way. Like these are goals, right? Reverse engineer it. Do 30 days In 30 days. I'll see where I'm at with that. And if I end up losing 30 pounds in 30 days, I'm not sure that's possible. But who knows? I'm doing a drastic, crazy thing here. So get a goal, right? What what kind of goals do you have? Are you dormant in your goals right now? Or are you just skating through life and basically don't have any goals? Are you comfortable? I would definitely recommend taking yourself back and just realizing some goals that you want to hit again. I know there's something that you want. It could be spiritual. It could be physical. It could be emotional. It could be financial. It could be anything, but get some goals and start going towards them. The person that you become just by doing that is completely invaluable. I mean, it is completely priceless, right? Thanks for watching today's episode. I appreciate it all the time that you spend here with me. This is definitely cool. I'm about to go do some fun stuff here and record some more videos. 
But um, I guess I'll see you on the next episode. Thanks for watching.